Okay, well it is in sixes now. We're going to continue to build on the idea of creating a swing. And like I mentioned in the last video, we're also going to work on an opening six and a closing six. Now you already have an opening six. I haven't told you that yet, but you do. If you have just regular compas swinging, that's an open six because the way we kind of take the five and the six and subdue them a little bit in relation to the four leaves it open and up in the air, so to speak. So if I, just to review, we're doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is add a resolve. The, and this is a variation, so you're going to do this, the following uh, rhythm. What I'm doing is going one, two, three, four, and five, six. One, two, three, four, and five, six. Okay? So then uh, one, 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 two, three, four, and five. And five is the contratiempo, okay? One, two, three, four, and five, six. Okay? Now you don't have to bang it out. Nothing like that. You just keep it, uh, keep it nice and smooth. Okay. So now, if I put an opening six with that closing six, it sounds like this. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and five, six. Rising and falling six, which creates a twelve, duh, mathematically. So now let's think about an opening six that's it's a variation, but it's gonna make it sound even more like an ascent. And then we we stick to the descent we learned. So you have an ascent and a descent and you have a nice twelve, okay? It's gonna give you a peak in your compass and it's gonna open things up a little bit. So, first thing we do is uh, we're going to hold back and in, in hit a contratiempo as our first bottom off. So it sounds like this, just by itself. I'll do it a few times in a row just to catch it. And if I were to count that, it goes 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, and 3, 4. Okay, so notice I'm still hitting the four with equal force. That contratiempo is very subdued. It's heard, but you don't have to bang it out. If you bang it out too much, then it starts to take away from the ascent and suddenly it takes it somewhere else. You want it to help build up to the four, so you don't want to hit that anywhere near as loud as you're hitting the four. Okay, again, let's go over that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So now let's put that variation with the falling variation or the descending variation, a closing variation, how you care to think of it. And you'll hear how it rises and falls and you get a real sense now of what a 12 is supposed to sound like. Okay, so we're going. So, if I were to count that out now, I'm going to do it very slowly. We're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and five, six. Okay. So that's a really good basic way of making sure you can keep Bolivia swinging, keeping it open. 
Now, uh, we're going to have a video here in a bit uh, with accompaniment so you'll see the interaction between me and another palmero and how these variations play off of simple compas. And that's where, the, where it really starts to sound nice and where you really get an idea of what, what it is ultimately that we're shooting for. Also, we're going to start to show you how you now take this idea of a rising and falling six, start to look at it as a twelve, without losing the, uh, the uh, idea of the six, and how you can start to now mark accents that are specifically for a twelve rhythm. They're a little bit different than the six, but now you'll have an idea of the swing and that little open space in the middle of a twelve compas. Hopefully I'm not confusing you now, but don't worry too much about it. I, I will definitely explain everything I've talked about just now in detail in individual videos. So I'll see you in the next video.